hi welcome back to retro rats so today in the yard we have a Talbot Express now this was an import to Scotland this was 1991 import and a much later on the logbook hence the uh, the registration plate is a funny plate now is this the most rotten Talbot Express we could ever find <laughs> So we're going to inspect this and see if it's worth saving now. Our world, the worst ones. But I've got so many projects on and so many of you are saying, come on, get on with stuff. We've got the little pop top camper there to do. I've got this one to do. I've got the classic mini rebuild to do. And for those haters, I've got these two to do. This one and the yellow one. I think that's enough, especially on a very, very low budget. So uh, we're going to see how bad this is and truly assess if he's a breaker or not. Yeah. It's <clears throat> quite some weight in that. Mostly filler. What do you reckon, Jackie boy? What do you reckon? A bit concerned? Are you a bit concerned? Okay. Main concern. Obviously, his inner sills. They're rusty. The chassis legs all right. In the middle, and there's not a massive amount of light under there. <coughs> in the middle, in places, he's all right. Obviously, his strength, his strength comes from this. famous let me turn the camera up for you here we go this is the truth who did this seriously that's not going to give you any strength in your vehicle Jack come here Jack I can't even tell you Oh, it's a, it's a how to rebuild your caliper kit. So, uh, 
Well done, someone in the past. It kept nice and dry. Hope your calipers work. Let's find out when you did it because it's full of newspaper. So had I started welding, you would have caught me a light. Every sale, every Wednesday. Auto Trader. Very scary that you guys are out there. <sighs> July 21st, 2010. Classic Car Weekly. And that just came out of there. So had I been welding this, it would have gone up in flames because of Classic Car Weekly. And it's still going, it's still going. The whole Classic Car Weekly is up there, I think. No offense to Classic Car Weekly, they would condone this behavior. Um, let's have a look with the camera. Ooh, pretty. Inside, inside the vehicle, yes. So inside the vehicle, it's gone. So yeah. Here's your classic car weekly from 2010. Shall we look? Peugeot 25. Not a big fan. Nothing against them. Just. It's the end of the back, look, MGB luggage. Oh, here we go. MG Metro Parts, 2010. So that was what's just in this little one section alone. I think it's time to go and get a hammer. That's the nice solid plate that I put in about four years ago when my brother owned this van and I did it on a ramp and you can see the, the quality of the job done there welded up at the time at the time there would have been a plate here and I've come up underneath the other one and welded in between that and that, giving you strength from inside. So the work that I've done is done all right, apart from the damp and the corrosion in the rest of the van. Obviously my work's gone through, but you know, it's four years ago. But considering the rest of the van is non-existent now. I don't think there's any strength any strength in any of this anymore there's a plate in there it's just falling a bit I mean I knew it was bad I knew it was bad but to the this back on the road would be dangerous there's fiberglass in there, look. That's the door sill. This is gonna be interesting. So I've literally just tipped this section out. As you can see, the only thing holding that on is that piece of metal there. It's gone gone above yeah, it's just only that piece holding it and something in amongst the rust over here there's nothing I can put my whole hammer 
up there. It's gone. The fingers in your way. Yeah. It's very safe to say the decision is made on this van. It wouldn't be safe to put it back on the road. And uh, it would be more of an extensive restoration than, than is worth it, sadly. But uh, just for a bit of fun, let's find out what's in the rest of the van. Oh. Focus, Chloe. I'm a bit so busy hammering and you're not seeing it. Uh, the body isn't connected. So whoever put this plate in didn't even bother connecting it to the body. Look in there. Mm. Join me on the passenger side now, and uh, it looks fairly solid from uh, an outside perspective. Right, I'm just going to open the door. Let's unlock the door a minute. Piece of work, that huh? it's a good panel. Not structurally safe, but nice panel. I want you to come this way now. It's holding, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's full up in there of inner sill. Inner sill. Even the emergency services have come to have a look. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. It's just gone underneath. That's how rotten on top it can be. And that's mainly the reason why there isn't any left. Oh, this is going to be good. There's a nice bit of filler in there, look. And... Just now, if I knock that filler out, that filler's gone. It hasn't even made it to the floor. You can see where the filler was put in. There's the access point. And no, we did not do that. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. No, I'm afraid it's safe to say this vehicle is going to be recycled. Jack's ready to drive. <laughs> Hello. Where are you taking us? Where are you going? Where are you taking us, mate? All aboard. Where are we going, buddy? I didn't even know you had your license. When did you pass? All in all, inside it's a lovely vehicle. 134,000 miles on a nice J reg, uh, J engine, JTD engine, is that what they call it? JTD engine. And uh, Peggy's been using it as a studio. Uh, she gets a new studio in March. Yeah, I was just saying, Peggy gets a new studio in March. This is where she's been doing her arts and crafts. Um, yeah. So she gets a new studio in March. So watch this space for the update of the studio. And uh, oh, there's my little friend that I'm a chameleon. So what we do is, this has got a lovely cooker and sink and hob and lovely units and that. We're going to pull these out and save them. That's uh, a lovely cooker under there, a lovely sink and that under that one. We're going to take these out and save them so in the future we can convert a van and um, yeah, we'll be saving all this and hopefully someone can make use of a full length lovely pop top roof yes so that's Marty's job then I'm contacting the club and uh, we're going to dismantle the Tolbert Express I've already had interest in uh, many, many parts, and that's what we need to do. Sometimes when a vehicle just isn't saveable, you can save all the components. Yeah, do you agree, Jackie boy? I agree. Yeah. See you on the next one. Stay safe. Stay retro, people. Mm -hmm.